Hey everyone, Optimus Wilbur here, and this video is not suitable for children under the age of 13. This is aimed at young collectors and adult collectors. Let's start the video. Welcome everyone back to another Optimus Bulba Reviews and if you want to make baby Grimlock happy why not hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, share it amongst your Transformer friends. Now Kingdom has arrived and there was only a few bots I really want to pick up. Megatron T-Rex and Optimus Primal just being really the biggest two I want. Then I seen Cyclonus. Cyclonus first line party okay so basically has bro takara we haven't really had a great one combiner wars was a hat and a miss really depends what way you look at it i didn't like it i have got it but it isn't one of my favorite bots at all especially for that character and it's a character that i do love especially when you cast your mind back to the 1986 movie and when he does his first attack on the Autobot spacecraft. All right, we survived that. Yeah, but will we survive this? Cyclonus, transform and attack. After Kato showed it off and then I seen it, I had to get it. And this guy, this guy's incredible. It is incredible. There's a few little nitpicks that I will have to go over um, just to keep you guys wary, um, just to be on the lookout. But this guy is incredible, absolutely solid. And it's a great start to the Kingdom toy line, I've got to admit. Especially when I started Air Fries, I ran into a lot of QC issues. This guy hasn't got them, but I think it's just how much over time I think everything will start to feel a lot better. And what do I mean by that? I mean by the pins are just a little tight just now, but I can see them being better over time if I transform them more. But one thing I do want to talk about is the box art. Now, usually I don't bring in the boxes. I'm not overly fussed with the boxes, but look at that art. That art is incredible. That is just fantastic, and if, like, say myself, I keep the boxes, and there's one thing I'm going to be doing with my table, I've just not got around to it yet, with, like, sort of these artworks where I want to cut them out and then put them all on, and then I'm going to be putting a glass sheet over it, or a plastic sheet, and something like this to look at when you're doing reviews I think is incredible, and that is just beautiful artwork, absolutely love it. One thing they've brought back as well, which I absolutely missed, is the cards. I love the cards, and I've got Dinobot. I just love these shiny cards. Uh, I think they're stickers as well. I'm not too sure. They could be stickers, but I've not even tried to see if they are. But these I do appreciate. So, <laughs> it's not an excuse to buy more, especially my part. Um, I think I'm going to be really selective with Kingdom. I'm not a Beast Wars guy, but that's not me knocking it. Um, it's just I've never really fell in love with it compared to the, like, the Western audience. I was more the Japanese side. I preferred the continuation of like Headmaster, stuff like that. And by the time I got to see those... Beast Wars is out, and I just was not interested. I'd rather see this continuation, and I love Japanese anime. And I get to see stuff like Transformers continuing to a degree was more important to me. So, Cyclonus, let's get a size comparison. Uh, let's bring in a bot I haven't brought in for a long while. And I've been waiting for a while to bring this guy in, because I want to show off his decals. And that is, of course, Earthrise Starscream. And that gives you a rough idea of the length of the guy, the height of the bot when it's transformed. It's a really good comparison. 
it is basically the Earth Rise sequels. And to get them in this Cyclonus in this mould and how he transforms and how he hides everything is perfect. Like so what they've done with the Earth Rise and the Siege mode for the Seekers where everything was great and we loved that. So let's take Starscream away. He'll be back eventually. Now that I'm going through all the bots that I've kind of neglected and missed out on. <laughs> But there has been so many videos out of Transformation. I'm not going to go over Transformation because it uh, there's right ways and wrong ways of doing this. And I think other people have done it a lot better than what I could do. So I'm just going to have them transformed and we'll go over some of the issues I've run into the character. And we'll get a size comparison to, I think, a certain couple of bots standing next to him. And here is Cyclonus transformed, and just the engineering in this guy is incredible. The fact that they managed to get it and hide everything is fantastic. And I have given him a weapon master, well, battle master, whatever they're called again. I can't remember these names. <laughs> Basically, what it was, I like Cyclonus with his target master. This is the closest looking one, so he's going to be holding that from now on. But when it comes to the things I was talking about with QC, and it's not major, as he's very stiff and it's down in these knees. So, if I adjust the camera, basically when you're transforming, these knees have got to slide in. And basically you've got to put some amount of force to push those up. But it's on this hinge, it's got to collapse in here and... You've just got to work your way through it. The wings, this one's starting to get better because I've transformed it now a few times. Once it was trying to click in, it was just a bit stiff. Now, the only thing I can put it down to is just obviously the pins might just be a little tight. Or because, if you've noticed, I'm still wearing a jumper. It is freezing in Scotland right now. And I was wondering if when it got delivered and how if it's kept in a van overnight it could just be the cold so I've not made my mind up yet the only thing I can do is give it a couple of more days and then start trying to see if it was that but I'm leaning more to the the poles or the, the, the joints are just a little bit tight so if you're going to do a size comparison there's really only a few bots you can bring in so Let's get his target master back on. Yep, I'm giving it its proper name. And if you've noticed, this is one of actually toy hacks. So, you know what? Well, I'm here. Let's just show off the decals. Because I've had them since the summer. You can put decals on the front. Just get adjustments. And if I fold them down, that's the thing I hate about it. This one's got flames on it. It's pretty cool. Pretty nifty. And that's that. So first size comparison, let's bring in the Combiner Wars, Cyclonus. And I hate this bot. I hate the mold, and I just hate that purple. I think it just does not capture the character at all. But at the time, that was really, if you were going first party, really the only one you could have grabbed. And I don't like it. I genuinely don't like it. Of course, I've toy hacked it, but it doesn't excuse the fact that, like... It's a mess when you're trying to hide everything. The decals on it are close to the Generation 1 toy, which I really do appreciate. But if you're going to finish off size comparison, you need to bring in the trio, don't you? So let's bring in Legends class Galvatron. Of course, he was in my video about a year ago. And we'll bring in Scourge, who has also been toy hacks, and that's the Titans Return version. Um... This is the thing, the Studio 86 is going to have to top this version. This version is that good, and I'm not just saying that. It's one of these ones where we've been wanting a figure, and how are they going to make this figure better? There's, there's your answer. This figure is literally worth the money. There is a few issues, but that's purely down to maybe it's just my one, and it's just the transformation. I don't think I'm going to break it. The more I've transformed it now, um, after a few conversations, when I genuinely thought I'm going to break these legs, I don't think that's going to happen now. 
I think it is just the more you do it, the more it'll fix itself. But to see Cyclonus like Gas and Always Glory, a Decepticon that I have got fond memories of, and it's just one of our favourite characters, and they seem represented like this now, is fantastic. So if you're looking for posability, arms go all the way around because of transformation, nice elbow joint, legs go all the way up, and you've got that knee joint, that infamous knee joint that's shown in the pictures. The feet are on a slight little hinge, quite tight, but that's a good thing because at least then we know he's not going to fall over. The head's on a good tilt, and if I was to zoom in on the face, detail is fantastic. There is nothing much I can say about this bot than go and buy it. Totally worth it. Absolutely incredible, guys. It's a great start to Kingdom. Do I think we're buying more Kingdom? I don't know. Um, the Galvatron is a maybe, but it'd have to blow me away. Um, and obviously, blow my Titans Return 1, or well, the Legends class at least, um, out of the water. So, Transformer fans, because we are going to be rattling through these videos, what is up next? Up next, Transformer fans, we are going back to the Earthrise line, but more importantly, the Netflix line. This is a bot I didn't think I was going to buy, but again, me being me, I had to buy it because the storyline just made her fantastic. That's right, that is of course Alita 1, and I'll see you all in the next Optimus Wallbot Reviews. <laughs> Thank you for everyone who tuned in today's video. If you want to make baby Grimlock happy, why not hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. All new videos are always coming right here in Optimus Bulba Reviews. If you'd like to follow me in any of my social media links, all the descriptions are in the description box below. And of course, as always, I cannot stress this enough, I wish to thank Cybertron Spree for allowing me to use their song Cybertronic Warrior as the theme of this channel. Guys, this is an incredible band that does incredible covers and recently just done an amazing album of the Transformers 1986 movie soundtrack. Please follow them and all their social media links. I have every description in the description box below. Please check them out and as always Transformer fans, till all are one.